Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to use annotations in Preview. So Preview has been around for many versions of Mac OS X, but at Snow Leopard it picks up the ability for you to add annotations to documents. Let's go and take a look at how that works. So here we are in Preview and I've opened up a PDF file, actually a chapter from the new book. And in here I can go ahead and click on this button that says Annotate. That will bring up this little list of items here at the bottom that you can use to mark up the document. So for instance we could go ahead and select some text like that and do several things with it like highlight it. We could also strike it through. Let me select it again. Do a strike through. We can also do an underline. So that's pretty much the three simplest things you can do. Okay, we can also draw a little bit on the document. So you can click on either an arrow, a oval, or a rectangle here. Let's try the arrow. And what we get here is the ability to draw an arrow from one point to the next. You can do the same thing with the circle and the rectangle. Once you've done them, you can go ahead and move them around the screen. You can grab the edges and adjust where they go. And of course, you can select one like I've got now and just hit the delete key to remove it. Now we can adjust the line width and the color by selecting these little menus here. They'll just drop off the screen here, but I can actually see a list of colors. I'll choose green and I can choose a new line width. And then when I draw on the screen, I get something a little different. Now you can also draw a box of text by clicking on this tool, drawing like that, and then typing in. And the same thing here, I could choose different colors. I could choose a different width and I could also uh, click here and it will bring up the text panel which then I can go ahead and change a lot of the qualities of the text. Another thing you can do is you can select some text here and you can go ahead and create a link. Click here and you get this dialog here. You go ahead and decide that you want it to be a link within the PDF to somewhere else or you can also decide for it to be a URL to link to. You can also go and define just an area of the document as a link. So click on link there, move this out of the way, and then you can go ahead and basically define a rectangle like that. That helps if there's images or specific layouts and you want to have an area that's linked rather than text. So a more traditional thing to do with annotations is to add notes. So you can do that by clicking on the note button down here. Once you have that selected, you can basically click anywhere in here to put a little note, like right here above this text. Once I do that it expands the area and I have a little note on the left. I can go ahead and leave in the information that's there and add to it. And I can add more notes simply by clicking somewhere else. I get another note there to the left as well. Add as many notes as I want and while I've got the note tool selected I can even drag them around on the screen. Be useful here to change the color of this note. I can do go ahead by clicking on one of these and then selecting a new color from this menu here, like red. This will help me distinguish which note goes to which if you have a lot of them in the document. Now of course if you save your PDF document in Preview, these notes will be saved along with it. So after you mark something up you can then pass it along to a colleague and they will see all your notes and can make their own changes as well. Now these notes even work in things that aren't PDF files. So here's a JPEG image and I can go ahead click on Annotate and you can see it's an abbreviated menu at the bottom because there's not quite as many things you can do. I can't select text for instance. But I can still go ahead and do some different things here. So for instance I can add a box to it and I can go ahead and add a little bit of text to it as well. You've even got some choice here if you bring up the Annotations panel. You can do that by the way by showing the inspector and clicking on the final item here to the right which is annotations and you can say select this note and change its icon. So you can select several different things here like say for instance key to show a key or help to show a little help icon. And you can of course change the color as well of that. If it's a link you can set the link in this dialog box as well whether it's a destination inside the PDF or a destination to an external URL. 
Now you combine this powerful annotations feature in Preview with the fact that you can create a PDF document simply by printing something from a Mac application and you have a great way to work with colleagues. You can go basically produce a document say in Pages or some other application, print it out, send it to them. They can use Preview then to mark it up with notes and annotations and things like that. Send it back to you then you can go ahead and look at the document and make the final changes on your own. It's kind of like working with paper except instead of somebody having to physically be there for you to hand them the piece of paper to mark up, you can actually email the document to them and they can send it back to you. Hope you like this look at the annotations feature in Preview. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <laughs>